fun, fashion, and of course, South Africa's finest wine on offer. The vision of the first Soweto Wine and Lifestyle Festival was simply to introduce South Africa's quality wines to the local population. But over the past 10 years, it has grown to become one of the most sought after lifestyle events in the country. It is an unbelievable event because of the fact of, of who and what it attracts. We bring the Cape wines to Soweto um, and they recognize that this is an burgeoning market. The event has been relocated this year from the University of Johannesburg. It's now taking place at the Walter Sulu Square of Dedication. The move to relocate is timed to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the signing of the Freedom Charter. This venue is very special in our 11th year. Uh, 60 years ago, the uh, Freedom Charter was signed here at this venue, or at this place. Um, and the Walter Sisulu Square of dedication. So having the 11th re wine revolution here is very important to us. There's something fresh and new this year. A creative collaboration with local designers. We needed a new way to do things. And South Africa is about small businesses and I think there's a lost generation of cool people and they're generally creatives doing pop-up shops, making cool things. So we spend a lot of time finding the coolest of the cool. And local designers relish this opportunity. I'm hoping to be like, you know, a regular um, still owner, designer, artist, slash, I'm a slash everything by the way, you know what I mean? I print, I sew, I design, I draw, I sketch, I do everything in my system. Classified clothing means township enlargement. It's an expansion from where we come from, basically, you understand? And this is an opportunity for us to tap into different markets, get to know different types of people that we can trade with and, you know, style them up in a classified type of manner. Bold, vibrant African-inspired clothing by talented young South Africans on offer. But it's the fermented grapes that have attracted most here. I'm from the States, from Philadelphia, but I'm living up in um, Santon at the moment. Um, who doesn't love a good wine fest? And it's always a good opportunity coming to Soweto to try something new. I come from France, so obviously I like wine. Um, and I think it's very interesting to taste wine uh, in Soweto because it's unexpected. I'm from Chicago in the States and uh, living in Johannesburg as well. And it was just, a, it seemed like a great event to come out with friends, see a different group of people, maybe get to know other types of people. And as my friends have reiterated, we love wine. For foodies, the festival's tantalizing food experience dazzles. Not even an extremely cold Johannesburg evening could deter the revelers from gracing this event. But, well, I'm sure a glass of full-bodied South African wine did the trick to keep the cold away. You're Nissan Jamela for CCTV in Soweto. Right then, currencies, interesting developments on this front. Uh, the Kenyan shilling hitting 106 and breaching that level for pretty much the entire day. Now we're looking forward to cracking 107. Uh, some have odds placed for about 100.